Assalamu alaikum student today our topic is unit number 4 decimals and percentages review exercise number 4 four possible option have been in circle the correct one add 2.12 and 2.6 when we add its answer will be 4.72 4.72 is b subtract 3.4 from 5.84 answer will be 2.2 Four four. Therefore, this answer and we write answer. How many decimal places has one two three three decimal places? This value has. Therefore, answer is D. Multiply thirty six point five seven by one thousand. When we multiply, it will change. It will change its decimal point to the two right places. Three right places. Therefore, thirty-six thousand five hundred and seventy. Answer will be C. Divide nine hundred eighty-three point six by one hundred. This point will change here. Now the value is nine point eight three six is A. What is the product of zero point six and three? Answer will be one point eight. Divide zero point four by zero point two. Answer will be C. Answer is two. Change four over five to decimal place. Answer will be D. Zero point eight. Round thirteen point five six eight seven two to the nearest hundredth. Now the hundredth are two value. There is eight. We will add one in six. Thirteen point five seven. Thirteen point five seven. Answer is A. Now question number two. Simplify the following expression: three point two round bracket seven point five minus two point three multiply one point two. First of all, we multiply these two values. Answer will be two point seven six. When we minus two point seven six from seven point five, <coughs> answer we answer becomes four point seven four. When we multiply these two values, answer will be fifteen point two one five four. Now eight point four minus two point four dividing by zero point six plus two point seven. First of all, we solve this two point four dividing by zero point six in round bracket. The answer becomes four. When we minus four from eight point four, eight point four comes as it is. The answer becomes four point four. And this two point seven plus comes as it is. When we add these two values, the answer becomes seven point one. Now eight point nine minus twelve point seven minus three point two multiply two point two. When we multiply these two values, answer becomes seven point zero four. When we minus seven point zero four from twelve point seven, answer comes five point six six. When we minus five point six six from eight point nine, answer comes three point two four. Convert the following decimals to fractions. Seven point two three. Seven point two three. When we convert this point into one, and after that, how much values we draw? Zero. When we divide seven hundred twenty three on hundred, the answer comes seven and twenty three over hundred. Six point zero three two. We draw one at the place of point. And draw zero. After that, the values have. When we divide this value on this, answer comes six and thirty-two over thousand. Now, question number three: thirteen point nine seven. We draw one at the place of point and draw zero. After that, the values have. There are two values after point one and two. Therefore, we draw two zero. Answer comes thirteen and ninety-seven over hundred. Write the percentage as friction. Now we convert this percentage when we when we draw dividing in hundred. This percentage will remove. Now question number two: seventy two percent. When we we write hundred as a place of percentage. Now percentage we write hundred at the place of. Dividing by hundred at the place of percentage. Now question number five. Write the frictions as a percentage. Thirteen over fifteen. 
first of all we we make 100 at denominator now there is 50 when we multiply 2 the denominator comes 100 <laughs> therefore we multiply 2 in nominator and denominator therefore answer becomes 26 over 100 now dvn 100 we convert into as percentage 7 over 10 when we multiply 10 with 10 the denominator becomes 100 therefore we multiply 10 in denominator and nominator the nominator becomes 70 and denominator becomes 100 therefore we convert the 70 this dvn 100 as a percentage 29 over 100 there is al already 100 therefore we dvn 100 convert as a percentage now question number 6 calculate the following 30 percent of 30 now 30 dividing by we write and dvn in 100 as a place of as a place of percentage therefore 30 over 100 multiply 30 answer comes 9 20 over 60 we write in dvn 100 as a place of percentage 20 over 100 and 60 multiply and the answer comes 25 40 of 65, 40, drive 40 and dvn 100 as a place of percentage, multiply 65, answer comes 26. Now question number 7, Ashraf has 5000, he gave 3000 to his brother, what percentage of his amount did he give his brother? Ashraf's total amount 5000, he gives his brother 3000 amount of percentage 3000 dividing by 5000 multiply 100 the answer comes 16 percent so asha gives his brother 16 percent of his total amount monthly income of a man is 7000 he spends 6000 monthly what percentage of his income he he is saving Total monthly income 7000, he spent 6000, he is saving 7000 minus 6000, answer comes 1000. 1, saving percentage, when we divide the saving amount on the total income, the answer comes 14 and 2 over 7. Now question number 9, Taylor has 33.6 meter long piece of cloth. He used 2.1 meter cloth for a shirt. How many shirts can he percentage out of his cloth? Length of piece of cloth 33.6. Cloth for one shirt 2.1 meter. Number of shirts 33.6 dividing by 2.1. We draw one at the place of point and write zero. After that point the values have. They are one value, therefore write one zero. Now this dvn, when we convert this divide into multiply, the nominator becomes denominator. Now this 10 cut and the answer comes 6. Now question number 10. How many jugs of milk are needed to fill a bucket of a capacity? 201.15 liter with 1.25 liter jug. Total capacity of buckets 201.15 liter. Capacity of jug 1.25. Now we divide this value. Now we write 1 at the place of point and write 0 after that. The values have there also. When we convert this dvn into multiply, the cutting after that, the Answer comes 160.92. So 160.92 jugs will fill the bucket of capacity of 201.15 liters. Dear students, please subscribe our channel, press the bell icon, like, share, and comment the video. Thank you very much.